I love great conversations. Hi, my name is Angel Jones. Thank you for joining me on 12 Minute Convos where I help you create a brand of your own unique real self. Listen in as I have conversations with amazing people from all over the world. Good afternoon, good afternoon, Sean Harrigan. How are you going on this wonderful, beautiful day? Yeah, it certainly is. It's a little uh, little chilly in my area, but, you know, I'm loving the fall weather so far. Oh, what part of the woods are you in right now? Uh, I'm in Pennsylvania, a little bit north of Philadelphia. All right, all right. Well, do tell me which of your talents is responsible for us meeting. Uh, you contacted me off of LinkedIn. I know that you are uh, currently interviewing other podcasters for your own show, so that's how we uh, first linked up there. So what are you doing on LinkedIn? Like, what, what was the thing, what's possibly the punchline I connected with you via? Uh, I think it was the fact that uh, I am a podcaster like yourself uh, yeah I know I, that I try to market myself on LinkedIn as well trying to find jobs in the entertainment industry or anything involving social media or anything like that yeah well you say podcast I say family yeah so podcast family yes love it love it love it well Sean tell me uh, I mean like how are you marketing uh, tell me about um, Cinescape Cine, Cinescape right yeah uh, tell me about that please uh, so the Cinescape podcast uh, it's a show featuring myself and my partner Bill Tazi uh, we cover the latest entertainment news in the world of movies and television uh, you know, we go over any breaking news, whether it's movie castings or release dates or things like that. We go into uh, detail on uh, movies that we've seen or TV shows that we've seen, kind of review it. And, uh, you know, we have a lot of fun. We do some trivia games as well. Uh, and it's a, it's a lot of fun. Are you doing the trivia games between yourselves or is it that um, your listeners are entering as well? Uh, we both do it ourselves. Uh, we have some of our friends come in and we've had some fellow podcasters in the area come in to compete as well. Uh, we actually have a new match airing live on our show tomorrow between uh, another podcaster that works on the same station as us and then uh, one of our friends as well. Oh, sweet. Sounds like fun. Sounds like a ton of fun. Sounds like a lot of fun. It sounds like it's something you look forward to. Uh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> in your week, yeah? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So who did you learn this skill from? Um, specifically the skill, not just podcasting, but adding the entity and men's side into, into the model. Uh, for the past bunch of years, you know, I've been on YouTube a lot watching different shows that are in the same genre as my own. Uh, you know, kind of learning how they do it and, you know, the type of vibe they give off. And, you know, I always thought that, you know, and I could do something like that because I've always been fascinated with the entertainment world. And uh, I guess a little over a year ago now, you know, I kind of I started my own blog and started doing uh, news updates and doing different reviews in the in the written form. And then uh, we got in touch with a a station in uh, New Jersey that uh, offers uh, airtime for podcasts and uh, you know, we've been over there for a little over a year now and it's been a been a really uh, fun ride so far. I can well imagine I can well imagine. Well tell me one other thing that you've done in fact no, you know what, let me know. Why will you continue to repeat this? Um, yeah, other than it being a lot of fun it's also uh, had a lot of outside benefits uh, you know, possible job interviews that I've had uh, different networking opportunities with you know, other podcasters just like yourself uh, I've been invited to press screening events for movies. I actually got to interview Hugh Jackman earlier this year for the press screening of the Logan movie. Uh, I got Are a couple minutes serious? with him. Wow. Yeah, it was really cool. <laughs> um, the video is up on our YouTube uh, page right now. If anybody wants to go on and check it, just type in uh, the Cinescape podcast and it's up in there. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Wow. So tell me one other thing you've done consistently over the last three years. Uh, in this field or just in general? It could be general. Um, consistently. I've kind of jumped around uh, between work. I've changed careers uh, over the last year. I got married earlier this year. Um, so I guess the most consistent thing would be uh, my relationship with my wife, who was you know, my fiance previously, and uh, my new family. Hmm. That's 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 great. Congratulations. Thank You're you. a married man now. Yes. Uh, how does it make you feel? Oh, it's great. You know, getting to share the rest of my life with the woman I love is certainly a you know, wonderful addition to my life. And she has two kids from a previous marriage and you know, I think of them as my own. So yeah. You know, that's great. 
getting to kind of emulate the way that I grew up with my parents and having a family like that. And, you know, now it's my turn to get to do it. <laughs> wow. You know, in, in the cinema, in the most cinematic way that I can say this, I go, Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's great. That's great. Suggest so to someone that may be listening, why they even should consider what you've done specifically by doing the thing you really love, the thing that brings you joy and carrying it a bit further right like you guys are on a radio station now right yeah uh, the station that we broadcast on is uh toxic radio um they have all sorts of different shows and different genres there's talk shows there's music shows there's wrestling shows um so i'm hoping that this can be a platform to kind of further my own ambitions you know getting some kind of position whether it's writing movie reviews or you know being some kind of a journalist or reporter even or you know maybe getting paid to do my own podcast yeah sounds good sounds good yeah love it amazing audience we are live with sean harrigan he is the co-host right the co-host of the of oh, this, absolutely yeah <laughs> of the cinescape um, podcast do check him out sean let's switch gears for a moment let me now invite you into my time machine that is surrounded in beautiful warm blue caribbean water sean, what is your earliest childhood memory oh i think my earliest memory probably i was only like three or four at the time i can like very much, very uh, vividly remember my grandparents' house, um, you know, the whole layout of it, even being such a small child. Yeah, you know, I can still remember, you know, the way every room looked and where everything was located. Um, so that's probably my earliest childhood memory. Hmm. How old do you think you were? Uh, like three or four. Hmm. So why do you think this memory is so clear? Um, I think it sticks out because my grandfather had passed when I was that age. And I, although I don't really remember him too much, uh, hearing my dad tell different stories about him or other family members uh, kind of keeps his memory alive. So maybe just the you know, the memory of the house kind of sticks out because you know, I can still visualize that more than actually remembering my grandfather since i was so young yeah interesting you know i'm going to take a shot at this uh can i offer an interpretation to the thought picture you created in my mind sure it's it's cinema it's the cinema scape it's the cinema scape it's like you're there at that age the visual is definitely something that you connect with I'm guessing it's still something you connect with, right? Like you get to look at a movie now and then you comment. I'm guessing you're not going through the movie while you're commenting. Is that how you do it? Or is it that you looked at the movie and then you comment? Uh, yeah, I, I watch it first and then comment. Um, yeah, I always had that kind of thought, like even as a kid, like, is my life a movie? Like, is somebody actually watching everything that I'm doing right now? Like as I'm going through life, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, it's fascinating. It's fascinating that, I mean... Uh, the skill you have, right, to be able to look at a movie and know, to know that you are really honing on the skills, if you would, um, and now you've started a career with it. Yes, it's in the, it's in the in the baby stages, um, but most definitely you're growing. But it's connected to a skill you've had from way back then. Yeah, I never thought and of it that way. Yeah, and the emotions are there, right? Everything is there. The emotions of the death the, it's it's like a movie right uh yeah if we fast forward to when you were 12 what was your favorite song Ooh, that's a good one um probably my favorite song at that time uh, is a song called hit or miss by the band newfound glory uh, it's probably still one of my favorite songs of all time today yeah, yeah. well i love how songs and their names and the artists um definitely connect right yeah so what did you say was new song glory uh, a new mess. newfound glory newfound glory yeah 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 it feels like that right now that you're married right um it's right, no longer yeah. hit and miss right that's right <laughs> well <laughs> sean we have arrived at our destination but before we get off of this time machine there's a small declaration form so it's yes or no possibly a bit more we're going to go quickly here sean have you chosen someone to pass on your skills to uh i am Showing my uh, co-host on the show, Bill, uh, you know, some of the things that I do to prep for our shows in terms of, you know, gathering all of our news topics together, writing them out in a, 
in a form to where it's you know easy to read and go off of um and then some of the like the video production things you know to upload our shows to youtube and things like that the social networking aspect so uh it's a good partnership with that and i'm getting to teach as well as you know imparting knowledge on him as well yeah well you said you're married you now have two children as well do you believe in god uh i grew up in a catholic household i'm not currently practicing um i have a kind of a different outlook on god as not like a a being sitting up in the sky but as something different Hmm. Do you have an inner circle of friends? Yeah, I've had a close circle of friends uh, since high school. I mean, I'm I'll be 31 next week, and uh, yeah, we all. I mean, we don't all see each other all the time now. We have our own families and kids like that. Uh, but you know, we're I actually have a, a buddy coming over in a little bit uh, that I was friends with since high school. So yeah, we all we all stay connected. Sweet. What about TV? Do you watch TV for more than three hours a day? Um, uh, I would say yes. Um, depending on the day, um, actually because of the podcast, I do need to watch a lot of TV. So we have things to talk about on the show. Um, but you know, life gets in the way sometimes work and kids and getting other things done. So Mm -hmm. it can be tough to sit down to relax and watch TV for a little while. Yeah. What about screen time? The phone and the computer, is it more than eight or less than eight hours a day? Uh, definitely less. Sean, after having a thousand and one conversations in three months, I came up with a workbook and the name of the workbook is called Yours, right? Yours stands for your own unique real self. Connected to that is your own unique real statement, your mission, if you would. If you had to share with us your own unique real statement, a statement that represents who Sean Harrigan is, what would you say that is? I would say that I'm, I'm just the, the every man, you know, not wanting too much yeah you know, i just want to you know go through my life i have a great life with my wife my family and i just want to be able to provide for them and to you know have a lot of fun along the way hmm. sean this was a great pleasure before you leave is there anything else you'd like to share with our amazing audience uh well i wanted to thank you angel for having me on and for all the listeners out there uh we are recording a show tomorrow uh, it is going to be on our Facebook Live. Uh, if you check out www.facebook.com slash The Cinescape, you can see it at 5 p.m. Eastern Central Time, uh, or Eastern Standard Time, sorry about that. Uh, we're also on iTunes if you type in Cinescape, and we're also on YouTube as well. You can see video versions of all of our shows. Oh, sweet. Sean Harrigan, thank you so much for being on What is Inspired by 12-Minute Convos with Angel Jones. Thank you, Angel. Thank you for being on 12 Minute Convos with Angel Jones. Stay tuned for more from our advertisers. Diabetes is a mountain pandemic. It's a disease that's not acute, but chronic. Similar to this rhyming method, I have simplified the definition, the signs and symptoms, and the complications of diabetes for both adults and children in my books, Poems for Patients, A Focus on Diabetes, and The ABCs of Diabetes for Children. These books are available on Amazon.com, and for more information, you can visit my website, poemsbyag.com. That's poemsbyag.com.